All right, guys, so spoiler alert. Um, I don't like to admit defeat very much, but I got my ass kicked this weekend. Um, so the end of this video does not conclude with the running of a diesel engine. Just letting you know, um, the Ford uh, Pats passive anti-theft system is uh, alive and well in the old excursion right now. So uh, stay tuned, watch this video. We get the engine installed, but there's gonna be more to come before we hear this thing fire up. Prepping to get the engine in. Unfortunately, can't get the hoist okay, underneath the pallet there. So we're gonna unbolt it, see if we can finagle the pallet out from underneath this thing. And then maybe we can get it on the lift. There we go, it's moving it. Just trying to get it out of the actual crate. All right, got it off the uh, engine stand. It's back on the box. Almost killed the car in the meantime. Now we're gonna reposition how we're holding this thing and see if we can get her in. pipes back in everything's tightened down oh yeah look at it it fit easy. yeah yeah oh my goodness all right let me let me slide it get it over there let me get that new needle you guys are doing a great job these wires hanging here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, gotta go clockwise. There it goes. Yep, it's starting to go up. Alright guys, it's the next morning. Coffee in hand. Old engine is a help. She's on the pallet, ready to ship. Transmission needs to be strapped down, ready to ship. I got a few little pieces I still need to get off. The fuel line, um, little things, dipstick, uh, things like that. So I still gotta get off there before I ship it back. But yesterday, we got her installed and honestly, it wasn't that bad. Ugh. Still the hardest thing to do in this truck has been the dang fender flares. So she's in there. I got to run all the fuel lines still. Mount the Ficum back there. And then just start piecing all the things together. And I'll try to, try to document all that as best I can. And even easier than the engine. We got the, the uh, twisted diesel transmission in. It's not wired in yet, and I still have to do the uh, bolts on the torque converter. But she's bolted in and ready to rock. All right, we're going to get after it this morning. So I know I mentioned it in the other videos, but I don't know if I actually showed it. I've got a regulator return kit for this motor now. So these two lines right here 
are coming from the the back of the heads where the the norm there's a bolt that's that uh just blocks off the fuel flow so this is the return lines coming out um so i got to get the rest of the fuel lines in and then the the uh, regulator gets mounted up here somewhere so these lines are run to that regulator and then we'll have the uh, regulator return set up and it'll connect in obviously to the factory fuel lines that are coming from that lift pump that i put in let's get to it let me show you the first hiccup that we ran into so the older style six o's the fuel supply that's on the fuel bowl here in the original engine has this early style let me get to focus there has this early style supply line the new fuel bowl on the new engine has a different fuel supply line so had to do some research because this would not fit i thought i was crazy for a while there i was like wait a minute it's, it looks like it's so close but it does not fit so what you have to do is get the later model fuel supply line i believe it's 05 to 07 they went to this supply line and it has a banjo bolt that i have there so then i have to route it correctly obviously but there'll be a banjo bolt go through there and then plumb down to my supply line down there so not a big deal but it is a big deal when you have to wait for a week for your part to come in that you that you need so let's get this going oh sorry other way but it, you did it no what well you i think you might have gone too far come back a little bit Oh, a little bit more. Is it moved? Right there. Oh, come back towards me, but it is just like a quarter of a hole off. Oh, <laughs> try to go back just a little bit. It's moving the torque converter a little bit too. There it is, perfect. Right there. All right. I'm gonna go slow. All right. Yep, keep going. All right, I'm starting to see it. It's barely peeking in here. Huh, there's no hole behind it though. Keep going. Well, there's no hole in the torque converter behind it. Yeah, keep going. All right, the second gotcha is the torque converter has holes for both a eight bolt and a six bolt flywheel. So, like everything else, you do it hard the first time. So we had to drop the transmission again because we were lining up on this hole, which is the wrong hole. So now I measured all the holes are like between five, they're about five and a half or five and three quarters inch separation. So I've marked all the correct holes, but all we gotta do is get one to line up and we're gonna be good. So do it right the first time.
so just turn the key to the on position. Like all the way on? To on, yeah, there you go. I don't hear the pump running. All right, guys, so we got 90% of everything back together, um, with the exception of the AC condenser. It's still sitting in the garage, but transmission, intercooler, radiator, all set. Um, I don't have the fan in. Um, this is how we got it to last night, and we failed with our attempt to start I'll show you why here guys I so keys in go to start and there's the theft light so if you notice no fuel pump no injectors cycling and when you go to start just nothing so I tried to reprogram it um, cycling the turn the key on waiting 45 seconds let it slow down trying to reprogram the pat system and and nothing so it's looking like it's gonna be a trip to the dealership to reprogram the key and the the Ford passive anti-theft system. So, ugh. All right, guys, that's how this chapter is gonna end. Unfortunately, without an engine running, um, we'll get it to the dealership, we'll get it reprogrammed. Hopefully that's gonna solve all our issues and this thing's gonna be up and running. In the meantime, there's Cervini hood that I've been waiting on. The last piece of the puzzle for the front end conversion is supposed to ship next week. So hopefully the next video in part 12, it's going to be getting the engine running and beginning the 2011 to 16 front end conversion on this thing. So stay tuned. If you haven't seen the other videos in this whole series, go back and watch from the beginning. This has been a year and a half long project gutted the interior and just kind of rebuilding this excursion and sound like the ultimate family hot rod. All right, thanks a lot guys.